I'm Neil Armstrong. This is the story of how my video got a million hits in 24 hours. Miss Clemens, please, please sit down. We know this must be very difficult for you, and we appreciate you coming in. And we realize you, you told all this to the police before. But you understand, we have to clear the school of any wrongdoing in this matter. These are dark days, dark days, Miss Pleasance. So many students dead. And we haven't even started the exams yet. Now, could you simply explain what happened? Well, the day started out like any other. The children were acting out, of course, but there's nothing unusual in that. I've never understood why they don't like Pythagoras. And then that bloody Neil Armstrong started. What was he doing exactly? Hey, miss. Hey, miss. Well, all of the children were out of control. Sharon was singing loudly, practicing her impersonation skills, which were poor, I might add. She had very little talent. Danny was drumming up a new drum solo. Millie and Sylvie were texting their boyfriends about the latest row they'd had. And Billy was asleep in the back corner. It was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Neil Armstrong started dancing like a demented Michael Jackson. I warned him to stop twice, but he kept going. He was videoing on his mobile phone, and I told him to put it away. <laughs> Things got out of hand very quickly after that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Turn that phone off, Neil. And get back in your seat. I won't tell you again. This is your last warning. Armstrong. He just lost it. It was terrifying. It was then that he pulled out the gun. I'll never forget it. He yelled at the top of his lungs. Life as we know it will come to an end. He cackled. Something snapped. Then he shot me. It hurt like hell, but I froze. I pretended to be dead so he'd leave me alone. Then there was the Glee lover. I guess it's one way to stop the singing. It really was a case of it's not over until the fat lady sings. <laughs> Literally. I'm sorry. I'm still in shock. Are you all right, Miss Pleasance? Do you need a break? No, I'll be okay. Let's get this done. Millie and Sylvie were the next to fall prey to Armstrong's cunning plan. The girls were too busy texting. OMG. I suppose that's RIP to them. <laughs> Not so LMAO now. His next victim was Danny the drummer. Deaf as a doornail. When the shots were fired, he didn't hear a thing. The tragedy is that Danny's talent will never be discovered. Billy, the clueless twit, was sleeping in the back corner, tendrils of slobber dribbling from the corners of his mouth. 
The poor bugger slept through the whole damn saga. And you, Billy, you can't even be bothered to wake up. He was dead tired. It's clear you did everything you possibly could. The horror only stopped when he turned that gun on himself. Right. There we go. Machine than man, twisted and evil. This whole story just sickens me. I don't, I don't know what's worse, the the senseless slaughter, or the fact that the students were more interested in updating their Facebook status than their own lives. Thank you, Miss Pleasance. I, I think we have everything we need to know. You take the rest of the week off, and we'll see you next Monday. Evil comes in many forms. Seven bullets, one million hits. online. It's just a shame I had to die first. Hi there, it's Neil here. Just wanted to let you know that it's not so bad up here. At least I'll never have to see her again. <laughs>